Hi everybody, welcome back to Sid's Modern Life, Season 2, Episode 146, with me, Sid, and last episode we built a rather nice machine down there in the basement of this building that we're stood in. Since then, I've done a little bit of work on top, <coughs> which I want to continue this episode and get some more work done. Um, so, well, let me show you. We've got the windows in uh, on these. It was uh, not done windows on every single one, because, uh, well, I've got a few plans I want to do. Um, plus, these are painful to do. These are really, really painful. I've also done a little bit of landscaping around here to make space for the windows. From the outside, it looks pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. I am, however, thinking that I may bring a wing out this way from here and here um, and then run uh, a track down here couple of tracks maybe um, so that's a possibility in fact let's work on the basis of that being more than a possibility and uh, let's work on that being a a fact fact shall we um, and go if we were to come from here and go one two three one one two three one one two three and one uh, how far do I want this to go one two three one Maybe like that. Is that far enough to, I think? No, one more. I think one, two, three, one. And then we can do the same over from this side. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. Uh, we'll take that out, I think. <laughs> um, I'll probably just fill this in and have nothing in here, make this bottom bit absolutely solid up to that point that kind of works i think um oh let me just eat <laughs> we've uh, we have just logged in so yeah um so one two three and one oh no nope. bad one two three and one there And then of course you go one, two, three, and one, and one, two, three, and one, and that gives you three. So that gives us a much bigger shape. Um, it frees up some of the the blocks over there as well, and uh, we can we can start working with that in mind. So I am going to take you. Well, I'm going to do it from the inside because it's a damn sight easier. two and three and let's just head over to this one here um yeah so these do place in nicely um we're going to have the similar pattern on this side to that side obviously we're not going to have the wing sticking out but um we shall uh, not waste these pre-chiseled pieces uh because that would be well wasteful wouldn't it <laughs> yeah let me just move this around a little bit uh and we'll probably have to do something with the floor here but we'll 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 sort that out eventually uh but let me quit do this quick and i shall be right back with you but um i brought the this round so this gives us some space uh, we are going to have I think a door here um, I'm not entirely sure I may actually go let me just go and have a look at the giant Malice's doors because I'm not sure how big they are obviously the the scientific door is three wide a it doesn't really fit the build um, B um, it doesn't really fit the build Carriage doors, medieval doors, large double doors. Uh, uh, we make those. Uh, probably if we make some of those. Uh, not really. We haven't got any. Okay. We can't. Oh, we got large. Yeah, let's go with those. Those are. I think. They are three wide. They are excellent. That is exactly 
what we're going to need for the entranceway to this this building here now some of these may come in handy over there as well for the loading doors but that will definitely make a statement now I do need to do the windows all the way along that side I need to do the walls and the windows all the way around here uh, and I need to make that spawn safe which um, the easiest way of doing that would be to pop down here find a chiseled plank which should be if I remember rightly one two three four there that one and uh, go back up ladders will be sorry not ladders stairs will be happening at some point in the not too distant future but right now there there two three there 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 and there lovely everybody's happy and uh, you know it's lit right i'm going to push on because this is not going to build itself and we have got a lot to cover so i'm going to get this put in and uh, i shall be back with you in a moment all right we are just about finished up on the on the all walls bar one and this one is going to be a little interesting so we've got our spruce doors here and we can come out and we've got you know an arch going over here um and probably put some keystone details in on the arch as well little window above all of this stuff now over here is where we get some entertaining and interesting ideas so this should be five wide it is that should be five wide it is that should be five wide they are let us go and get some spruce and some uh spruce giant doors uh, so oops helps if you can spell spruce so we definitely want uh, three six nine twelve that's three sets of giant doors um, we're definitely going to want maybe a little bit of spruce I don't know why I'm just taking a pif piffly little stat like that I've got 28,000 <laughs> you know you tend to forget how much of a material you have when you've started with the massive farms and given modded's ability to create vast amounts of storage um, we really should uh, should be a little bit more so there we have three three doors exactly the same as that one however this one I want to try uh, no I don't want you I want you so we have got fancy we've got vertical uh, and I think vertical is probably where we need uh, it's not right is it it's annoying that the spruce texture does not match the spruce door texture hmm dark oak let's go and just try that one out for size I mean we may end up having to go with the spruce and just live with the difference in colors um, because in terms of doors you know, none of the modded ones are available in this. There, there used to be a door factory, but I think that has gone now. Framed door from Block Craftery, but not going to help me a great deal. 
Um, oh, there, was a, there is a door factory. Uh, probably not what I'm after, though. So, let me have a look at Dark Oak. Just craft me a stack of that, please, if you don't mind. I know I could have done it in half the time. But... We built the system, I'm done, we're going to use it. This was turning out a much bigger build than I uh, originally envisaged, I think. Uh, let us take some of that. Turn you across into th that. Oh, we got dark oak. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm an idiot. You see, the problem is, I think this one is actually too dark, if anything. I think I like it more than this. Let's have a comparison, shall we? Hmm. I think we're going to go with a spruce. It's it's not ideal, but it's what we got, and it's what I'm going to use. So let me get rid of that and that for now. Uh, take some of those as well. And what I want to do is come up to about here. Uh, and then... Curve, start curving. In to get a large door shape. Uh, we'll take you through like that. Actually, no, we'll undo that. And we're going to use those. There, that gives me a good old door shape. Right, now. That should be enough, I think, of those. What we can do is we'll... Well, we'll start... Now, nah, we'll do this. Like so, and then... Oops, no, all the way around. And then do a bit of placement. There, and I know, as I say, we I know this is not going to be a perfect colour tone match. Uh, and I really don't think there's a huge amount I can realistically do about it. It's, it is what it is. And the textures of the door do not match the textures of the plank. Which is annoying. But, at the end of the day... Not the end of the world. Damn you. Do this from this side, it's probably easier. Um, let's go and have a look. Now, I do want to do some more detail work on the actual door, but yeah, I'm not displeased with that. That works. Uh, yeah, I need to repeat that. We need to tidy up some of the detail around the edges there. Um, let me get that done, and I'll be back in a moment. And there you have it. Um, so, all enclosed. Not absolutely safe, because mobs can walk down from there and drop in, literally. Um, but we've got this space done. Now, I'm really not sure where to go next with this. My... My thoughts are that we would have another platform out on this side with a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Then we can go one, two, three, four, five. Like this, perhaps. Um, and I have two tracks coming down here. So with that in mind, we're going to need to put away our chisel 
uh, and uh, took our bits for a while and go get back into our um, bird shoot I mean our <laughs> seriously those those bird noises can be quite distracting at times however that should be sufficient for me to uh, put that away let's have a look what have I got in my railroad bag got some of that I have got rail segments I've got you and I've got you and I've got you cool we should be good to give that a try then shouldn't we uh, at least once night comes once morning comes anyway let me yeah that's it let's just let's go with this let's run with it so the the buffers will be about there it's needed two block space for buffers so starting here we're going to go for a straight one for 15 uh, and that will go there uh, and we're okay and there, then similarly we want to be here running down there and these will both just run straight down this length here ah uh, no I'm only at okay <sighs> right we're getting there we're just not quite there yet uh, let me change you to th to that no that like a so and what we'll do is I think we're oops I thought I changed you to that so this all needs it's the only downside to doing all this detail work and then after the fact deciding to put something like say a railway platform in is you end up doing all the detail work and then destroying it but can't be helped I suppose so uh, there you go a little bit more That'll be those, and then I suppose what I need is my ch oh. Let me put that away again. <laughs> Go back to chisels and bits. Uh, and we need to get that done, don't we? So, I had a little bit of sheeted wood there. Okay, that's fine. I live. Uh, did, uh, that. That, I'll take the positive, I doubt I'll need it, but you know, you never know, do you? But what we should be able to do is fill these in um, relatively easily. Like that. Uh, and then copy copy the block that, that should be relatively straightforward to fill these in we'll probably stick a door in at least on one of these maybe two ah what we uh run out of that okay that's fine uh, we'll just do that and then we can do it properly 
So that is one job, um, which will be relatively easy. The next thing I think we need is to think about is, is this is of course a factory. Um, one of the machines we have in this uh, immersive engineering is the assembler. And I cannot think of a better place to build, oops, an assembler than in a factory. Now what the nice thing that the assembler has is it has um word I'm looking for here. It has the ability to do um yum 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 yum. Oh god. Fluid crafted, liquid crafting. And that is going to be invaluable in these circumstances because obviously what we want to do is we want to be able to automatically craft the um, creosote. Let me see how long we've been recording because this may be something for next episode. It may be something for this. We'll see how we go. Back in a moment. All right. <clears throat> we've been going about 20 minutes. and I, I, I think I'm going to save that particular project for... Um, for next time however I did want to get well for starters I need to get this out so we can get that down there and then we should be good to go one and two and there and there and there now unfortunately I've run out of the rusty iron block that we used for the front and I'm not entirely sure if I've got if I've not got any rustic lanterns anywhere seems very odd I find it hard to believe I've got no rustic lanterns anywhere clearly I haven't though so we'll we'll, uh, we'll get rid of those for a moment uh, and we'll go back here so what I would like to do is basically get this bit finished off the in terms of its um, its train train setness um and to do that i really need to get the rails in so we're going to finish that bit off now i've done the the stone uh, the wood manually i think we're probably going to need more um more rails so but that's a, that's not an issue um but right now let's just get the next length of this in yeah we're definitely going to need more rails um, and then obviously we'll need to do a curving rail into here. Now we have got room off of this to do more options. What I'm thinking is we've got the option to, yes, 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 yes. Okay, let me, uh, let me grab some rails. I'll be back in a second. Okay, rails have been procured. So what I am thinking is we can do a switch which if we get this right let me grab that um, to there and then we just need to set you back to straight for however many you are one two three four five six seven eight so that gives us a set of points which we then go from here with a custom curve
and we actually no let's do that the other way around it's a lot easier to line this up like this to there and that gives us quite a passable little uh, rail yard starting to appear now we've got more war work over here we've got plenty of space um, this needs another story uh, oh God, I need more clay more bricks more everything um, considering how much I thought I had I really do not have anywhere near as much as I think I had that makes no sense at all but uh, it makes sense to me and uh, we do need to go and get them all the that let's just run over here if we can and maybe just try a for, for a little screenshot there I'm just wondering if there's much clay still early on up here so in terms of um, work to be done still a lot a lot, a lot, a lot of work there I think I've had all the clay out of this particular six you all know I haven't there you go uh, not a lot there but you know I was better than now uh, yeah so we definitely definitely have our work cut out um, I mean, that is not a trivial build um, by any any stretch of any imagination, really. Did that hurt you, sir? Um, what we should do is just hover up here a second, shouldn't we? Um, but you know. Did I just get a Zam out of that? A Zam. Oh, little, little fella there. Not really worried about it. Uh, we've done those. Interestingly, Quark has updated recently, so I think we're going to have to... The Quark 200, I think, is the, um, was the code name for it. Um, and it is the last version of Quark. Oh, hello. The, the last version of Quark that will uh, be out in 1.12 and Vasky has already started working on 1. Ow! Hello! Oh, tough guy, huh? I'm sure I saw some diamonds down. Oh, hello! I could have sworn I just saw some diamonds as I was passing over. And I was going to say I don't mind if I do. But maybe I was mistaken. But you know what? I found something more valuable than diamonds. I found clay. Um, of course, that running joke there um, is that clay is was used for gating or suggested that it be used for gating in uh, one of the oh look at him he's so cute oh hello he's so dead um yeah so i think we are probably about done for this episode i'm not entirely sure exactly how long i've gone but i'm I am conscious that recently I have kind of been straying into longer episodes than, and whilst you know um, many of you are quite happy and don't mind those longer episodes, I um, I also have to realise that many of you have lives, um, and listening to me waffle um, is not always the most constructive thing to do with said lives. So. Um, we will definitely be doing an air mate. I will get that out. As... Oh, hello. 
at some point. We'll probably have to. F we'll probably have to f find a. Oh, hello. Hang on. Torches. Nothing in the dungeon, mind. A bit disappointing. But, um. Cyclic bag. Let's take it with me. One of the things I've been thinking about is redoing our spawning room, and I, uh, I've got some. So I've got some ideas along those no, ideas. Uh, I've got some ideas along those ideas. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I've got some ideas along those lines. So, um, yeah, that's always definitely worthwhile having a few spawners. And uh, right now, I think we are going to call it an episode. So until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye for now.